Rita Hayworth, what a ravishing beauty, what a wonderful actress, such talent. Fred Astaire once called her his favorite dance partner. She was married to Orson Welles at one point even. She was coined the love goddess and was the top pinup girl for G.I.s in World War II. Acting in small dramatic bit parts in grand musicals, Rita finally got her big breakout role in 1946 with Gilda. To all you out of work soda jerks without a penny to pinch, to the detectives with all the answers, to the dastardly dames who play men like baby dolls, and the trusted ones too pure for this world. And all you double-crossing, backstabbing, ruthless, baby-faced amateurs, this one's for you. So suit up, turn out the lights, put the match to your smokes, and sit back for the darker side of things. Cine Shadow Moonlights, Noir Vimper. The film opens up, and we see Johnny Farrell playing craps. He's played by Glenn Ford. To me, a dollar was a dollar in any language. He rolls his own dice, a cheater. When counting his winnings, he's held up, but saved by a man with a cane. This is Balin. He owns a nightclub. He takes Johnny there and puts him in his employ. Johnny's a card shark, wins every time. As usual, I made my own luck. Balin is a bad man. Hate is the only thing that has ever warmed me. He's a war profiteer, and he's trying to run a tungsten monopoly or some crap like that. He pushes a man into shooting at him, but the man only succeeds in offing himself in the bathroom instead. He's pissing Germans off, he's taking Germans out at Carnival, and he even fakes his own death. But that crap's all just plot getting in the way of the story. What we care about is Gilda. Our first look at her is the sexiest character introduction ever. She even excites Andy Dufresne in red at the old Shawshank prison. Johnny's passion for her is immediately felt. He needs her and she needs him. Gilda exudes sexuality throughout and seeks attention on her way back into Johnny's arms. She dances with other men, brings a young man home who Johnny slaps away like a bug, and even runs away at one point. Her performances of the song Put the Blame on Mame are wonderful. She does an acoustic version and even does a sexy version in a little black dress. I think if I ever cross-dressed, I'd probably do Rita Hayworth, and I'd sing this song. Put the blame on Mame, boys. Put the blame on Mame. Not saying I'd ever do it, but, you know, something to consider, you know. I also wanted to mention the character of the bathroom attendant. He's the type of guy that knows people, knows how they really are. I mean, he'd have to, right? He's in there smelling their crap all day, giving them cologne, shining their shoes. He's always giving them advice, even when they won't listen, trying to help them out. He's a real big help to Gilda, and loves just sitting there watching her sing, as do we. And by the end of it, he is a really big help. But I won't give too much away. The photography by Rudolf Matei, a fellow noir director, is excellent. It's exquisite and grand. The shots of the nightclub feel large and inviting, and very shiny. He does darkness well, too. There's a shot when Johnny is talking to Balin, and Balin is completely bathed in shadow. Just all black, like matte black, man. He is not a guy that should be trusted. In closing, I'll say it again. It's all about Gilda and her sexuality. And Johnny Farrell was the right man to tame her. And Rudolf Matei, he knew how to photograph Rita. With his lush photography, we felt that we were right there in Buenos Aires with her. I feel like I can sense her now. Like I can smell her. 
Hmm. Rita. Rita, Rita, Rita.